everyone. Bam. Yeah, I want to send it. What have you ever not wanted to send it? Come on, Discord. Get with the program. Let's see. Where else do I want to put this? Mm, I'll shill here. I'll shill here. There we go. Hey, hey, hey. Both of you, quit it. If you're going to hang out in my cubicle, you got to not fight. Priscilla started at that time. Priscilla has a toy with catnip in it. So she has been a little, uh, a little feistier than normal. Farmer time, that is true. It is, in fact, farmer time. Hello. Hello, Emily. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, 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 welcome. Take a little sip of my, uh, lemonade. Ah. Delicious. Hello. How are you? I'm doing okay. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to finish watching um, Good Times with Scar's newest Hermitcraft video before I had to go live. I only have like five minutes left on it, and I'm like, ugh, ugh, come on, come on. But no, no, I have to, I, I gotta do my job. I gotta focus. You gotta try and figure out roof lines. Well, I have to figure out where the fuck you live, so I'll be popping by at some point. Don't worry about it. Roof profiles, my beloved. Amazing. Amazing. I don't really have too much of an issue with roofs. Um, my problem is thinking ahead enough to the point where I like I can be prepared for a roof. Normally, like if I don't think about the roof while I'm making the walls, then I get up there and I'm like, what what the fuck am I meant to do here? Like at no point did I consider that a roof would have to happen. Alas. Alas. You've got an ambitious with this library. Amazing. Well, I'm excited to see it. Ah. Okay. Close down this. Ugh. I had to swing by Publix on the way home from work. I have a cupcake order. Uh, and I do not have any uh, butter, which is important. So I had to go get butter. While I was there, I was like, well, I might as well get vanilla. And while I was there, I might as well. A what now? Oh, I'm sorry. A Publix is a local grocery store in Florida. I, 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 I have been here long enough that I forget that not everyone knows what a Publix is. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's a local grocery store. It's like the local grocery store that everyone knows. Their deli is fantastic. Like, mwah. Like Subway who? Uh, you're Canadian. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Um, but no. Uh, so I had to swing by the grocery store to get some stuff. Uh, and I wanted to get some more coffee creamer because I have an addiction to uh, caffeine. And I don't like coffee black. I have to drink it or I get migraines. Uh, so I have a very specific brand of vanilla creamer. And I'm out of it. So I go to, 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 to Publix. My wife says, well, go ahead and get yourself some creamer. I'm like, okay, I'll go in and I'll get some creamer. Uh, and I go in and I look at the creamer section and all three shelves are completely empty. I don't know what the fuck happened, but they literally did not have any creamer in the store. Not even like they didn't have my brand of creamer or they didn't have my flavor of creamer. Like there was no creamer in the store. I was like, oh no. So it's black coffee for me for the next couple of days, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Just none. Just poof. It's gone. None for me. Hi, Jun. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, 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 welcome. We're going to get started here very shortly. No creamer for the streamer. It's just, I just, nope. They, I asked, do you got it for Gata? And they say they got it. No creamer for the streamer. Yep, there we go. As I said those words, I thought to myself, someone could take this in a very negative way. That's okay, Jun. That's okay, Jun. I, I love you. I love you anyway. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started. 
Howdy, farmhands! My name is Gata, and welcome to the stream. I'm gonna want this chat to be elsewhere, actually. I haven't touched anything since last night, so now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, hmm, that needs to be elsewhere. Where's chat box? Here's chat box. Let's move you over this away. Does that look good? Let's see, let's click off of it. Yeah, I think that cuts off right. But yes, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we are once again playing Minecraft on the Mercury SMP server. That looks about right? Okay, good, perfect, Mwah, amazing. But the problem is in this corner up here is where I have my uh, my world, my, my mini map, so like, I need it. Let's go ahead and get onto the server. I didn't load everything in just yet. Um, I was kind of in a rush to get stream started, so give it a second. The whole world has to load in. It's going to be choppy for a moment. I also, uh, not that one. I need to go into my options. Uh, let's see, chat settings. I want to turn chat hidden. There we go. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out a way to uh, figure out how to get the lower left hand corner, well, doesn't like the lower left hand corner chat to be visible. Um, it's very nice. Oh, you got fab. Oh, let's see. Hold on, I'm missing chat. You got fabulously optimized working last night. It's very. Isn't it nice? Isn't it nice? It's all the features from uh, Optifine without any of the questionable content of Optifine. It works very nicely. There's a couple of optimizations that still needs in my in my opinion still needs to be worked on but they're they're working on it they're working on it they're, they 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 actively um continue developing it i'm in the discord so like they have some other stuff coming out soon uh as for what we're doing today you may notice that my uh my crops are gone my crops are currently not here. I was doing this off. Uh, I was doing this off screen and couldn't complete it before today because of my day job. Um, but I was harvesting all of my wheat so I could actually get the numbers down for how much wheat I get for um, a single harvest of my fields. I don't actually have a hard number. Not the crops, the crops are gotten. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. They're all, everything I've harvested is stored away. We'll count it, uh, you know, take, take, take the numbers, write it down, replant it all. I haven't even gotten rid of any of the seeds I've collected either. Like everything is fine. Stop monocropping, Gata is against biodiversity. You're not wrong. You're absolutely not wrong. Well, we're gonna I, we're gonna address that to a point uh, tonight. Hello, Susie. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we are going to be addressing our crop issue uh, tonight. I have uh, now three individual uh, organizations. I want to call them that want me to ship food to them. Uh, Prince Raglan wants me to be the premier. The premier. Uh, supplier of food to his castle town, right? Um, Ren has requested our services in exchange for food for her miners, and now uh, the dragon is wanting to uh, order some stuff for me as well, which means we're gonna need to have more than just wheat. We're gonna need to have more than just wheat, and we're gonna need to be able to acquire it without spending hours every week harvesting all the fields. Um... Because, like, this is great. I like this. This is fun. I'm enjoying myself. I'm living my best life. My skin is clear. My crops literally are watered. But we need to automate some of this because I am but one farmer. And we cannot let these poor testificates go hungry. They have already suffered enough. The bread will get them going. Uh, and I do have some carrot and potato stores. But, like, we got to get more diversity going on. Um, I'm actually considering asking for gold from Ren so I can make golden carrots because that's a good food source for players not so much for testificates uh, it's more it's more more nutritionally beneficial for players in my experience like they can eat them but they don't get the buffs from them all right go around this way I'm glad I did most of this off camera because otherwise this would be absolutely ridiculous did I try the special stew? No, I don't think I did. I think I put it aside for a special day. 
Uh, mostly, mostly for a day when I was on camera, because I didn't want to waste it. Yeah, I don't spend a whole lot of time playing on the server when I'm not, like, actively streaming. Uh, which is a problem, because then it means that you guys have to watch me do every individual step, no matter how boring it is. But it also means you don't miss a moment of it. If I were a more long-form streamer, if I were doing, like, 8-10 to 10 hour streams like some of the big names do, then I wouldn't feel so bad because then, like, the goal isn't to watch it all. The point is to pop in and out when you can to see how things are going. Def recommend taking a sip if you get hungry. That's not suspicious at all. That's not suspicious at all. But it's alright. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and put a bunch of wheat seeds up here. That's full. That's full. Okay, that's where all the wheat itself is. Let's make a bunch of hay bales. Pop, pop those up. Do I have more? I do have more barrels. Good. Okay. Let's go ahead and put a couple more down for all of the wheat. There we go. Wheat seeds, rather. And I'll pull these out. And we'll pop in here. Fantastic. Amazing. Alright, I'm gonna pop to sleep real quick, though. My bed's still in here with the pig. <laughs> My bed is still in here with the pig. It's not ideal, but it works. Hey, Pigu. How do you like your, uh, your new digs? You doing alright? You doing okay? Yeah, he's doing fine. He's doing fine. All right, let's grab the last, the very last bit, and then we can actually look at our hay stores and determine how much we get per harvest. That would be so smelly. It's, it's, it's all right, he's a clean pig. He's a clean pig. Don't be mean to him, he's done nothing. He's a good pig -oo. They're so stinky. They're mostly stinky if you don't clean them out. They're fine on their own. Like, so I've told this story before, um, but I'll tell it again. When I was very little, I'm talking like, oh, I want to say like five or six. Okay. Uh, we had a local county fair that my grandmother was like on the board of. She ran the fair. And uh, this was back up in Maine, so it's like a farmer's fair, right? Like there are there are rides and there's like carnival stuff. But primarily, it's meant for all the local farmers to bring their livestock and their stuff and the 4-H club to show off all of their wares. Um, and every year, uh, they had a uh, a pig scramble where all the little kids uh, under the age of like four or so um, would be put into They'd be put into a uh, pen with. I'm just. I'm, as I'm just describing this, I'm realizing how fucking like redneck my family was. But that's neither here nor there. Um, they put a bunch of uh, children in a in a pen, and they release a bunch of piglets. And they had five minutes to catch the piglets. If whatever one they caught, they were allowed to take home. Uh, so, uh, my little sister. Uh, she was like four or so. She's like, oh boy, I'm gonna get a pig. She's real excited. She's like, I'm gonna catch a pig. It's gonna be mine. It's gonna be my pig. And uh, my family's like, yep, yep, you're gonna get a pig, honey. Go on. So she goes in there with a little ribbon in her hair and a little dress. And she goes into the, the arena with a bunch of other kids. And they release a bunch of these piglets. And of course, the piglets are like, I don't want to be caught by no, no kid. So these, these toddlers are chasing after them. Hey, Cross. Welcome to the stream. These toddlers are chasing after these pigs. And of course the pigs are running and they're squealing and the kids are laughing and it's a grand time for everyone. Um, and my sister manages to grab a hold of one of these piglets. All right, she grabs it, she dives for it. Unfortunately, the piglet is like, I'm not going to be caught. So it wrestles three and it knocks my sister to the ground. And my sister falls backwards and lands on her little bum. And my mom and I were on the sidelines watching this. And she says out loud, well, that's the end of it. 
because she was kicked by a pig. She's going to start crying. That's the end of that. No. My sister sat there for a second, like took it in. Then she stood up. She dusted herself off and her face squenched up into this scowl because now she had made an enemy of that pig. She zoomed in on that pig specifically. She chased it down. She body slabbed that piglet into the dirt and she held on for dear life. The man who was in charge of like recognizing when a piglet was caught and going and grabbing it from the kid uh, was like, oh fuck, oh shit, okay. So he ran and he saved the pig from my sister who was very pleased. Again, I just had a realization as I'm telling the story how redneck we were because then he put the piglet in a burlap sack and handing it to my mom and that's how we transported the pig home just in a burlap sack. Huh. Maybe I was more uh, country than I thought I was growing up. Dear God. Yeah, no. So she, uh... Oh, allow that. Yeah, in a, in a, burlap, <laughs> in a burlap sack. That's how they transported the pigoos. Oh, wow. I just had a realization about my life. Um, but yeah, so that's how we got a pig. We ended up buying two other piglets that weren't caught, and uh, we raised them up, gave them names, and uh, eventually ate them because they were livestock. They, their names were um, Amelia, Messi, and Marvin, and they were delicious. They were absolutely delicious. Hello, James Dusk. Welcome to the stream. I was just telling you a story about my yeehaw days up north. All right, so let's let's properly look at uh, how many seeds we have. So we have all of these. We have all, oh, 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 my beautiful, my beautiful wife is knocking on the door. Everyone say hello to my beautiful wife. Hello, beautiful wife. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Are you heading out? You just want attention. I'm, I'm heading out. You're heading out, all right. Tell Kaiju and their boo that I say hello. Um, and can I, uh, can I get a smooch, maybe? Of course you a can. Kiss? Mwah. You look very sleepy. I am pretty tired. Be careful driving, okay? I will, sir, stink. Have you ever, um, tackled a piglet to the ground? A piglet? No. What? Uh, have you tackled a pig to the ground? This is, this is odd. This is the, 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 the implication. I would say I tackled it to the ground. What did you tackle it to? Well, did you tackled it and it didn't do anything. Oh, okay. It was like 300 pounds. Okay, so you didn't ta- Okay, just throwing yourself at something is the same as tackling it and successfully pin it for it to be. <laughs> All right, well. We used to ride horses and there were some pot belly pigs. Yeah. They were mean as shit, so you would walk by them and they'd try to grab you. Yes. So you'd have to bop them with a cast iron skillet. Pot belly pigs are- I'll, I'll, hold on. Usually on the snoot. With a cast iron skillet? Yeah, because it's what was right there. You just have, okay. Yes, yeah, and was says, yeah, okay, that checks out. That sounds good to me. Anyway, I love you. I love you. Give me a kiss. Be a good boy. I will. Drive safe. Everyone say, ow. <laughs> Everyone say goodbye to my beautiful wife. We just headbutted each other by accident. Whoops. You used to take cedar sticks and whip them. I mean, whatever gets them to leave you alone. Pigs can be nasty when they want to be. All right, move. Love you. She's so good. All right. Anyway, um, I just realized I can't actually access this chest, but this chest is full of, full of seeds. We have a full chest. We have all of this. We have actually. Let's pull this out. Let me just let me fill one up at it first. All right. So we have one barrel, two barrel, three barrels. Four, five. We have five full barrels of wheat seeds, and then some, and then some, from harvesting our field. How much wheat do we have? All right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stacks of hay bales. What? What is seven times sixty-four? Oh, I have to do math. Why did I? Ha why did I? Why did I decide to do math? Hold on, I can do this. I got my phone. I got my I got my calendar. No, I want my uh, calculator. Where's the calculator? People will start with C. Here it is. Okay, so we have sixty-four 
times seven stacks. Yes, that's 448 plus 48 more off to the side. That's 496. Then we multiply that by nine to figure out how many individual pieces of wheat we have. And then we add seven onto that. In one harvest, we have 4,471 individual pieces of wheat. In one harvest, we have 4,471 pieces of wheat. Now, if we divide that by three, that gives us 14... 1,400 and approximately 91 pieces of bread per harvest. I dare say we have enough wheat. <laughs> I, did, did, I mean, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. We might not have enough. Uh, but, but okay, 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 but be fair. But to be fair, we then have to ship that in three different directions. So let's cut that down to 496 pieces of bread per location we're shipping to. That's a lot of bread, and I honestly feel like they will need just the one shipment, and then they're done. Huh. Hmm. Maybe, instead of making a new field, we should just not replant the wheat. We have barrels and barrels of wheat seeds. So if we leave one barrel of wheat seeds as it is, right, and put the rest, just like as much of it as possible, uh, into the Bone Millimeter 9000, then we can use all of this land for potats. That sounds good to me. Why is there a poisonous potato in here? That's not that's not helpful by any means. All right. Well, it's going to be a hot minute before we are able to properly uh, put all of our excess seeds in there. Got to rotating their crops. Pog. Yeah. 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 Crop rotation time. And while they grow. Um, in the area we've already set out, I can start, uh, finishing up this area so that it's a proper semicircle. All right. But first we got to figure out what we actually have to plant. I know I have a collection. What do I think of rats slash mice? So I think they are sweet babies who have done nothing wrong. However... I do have a story about them. Oh, we have plenty of stuff here. Hold on. No, okay, let's, let's carve pumpkins. All right, we have plenty of carrots. We have plenty of potatoes. I don't know what I was concerned about. All right, so let's go ahead and take a full inventory's worth of carrots. I don't think we're actually gonna need that many. Uh, hold on. We got one, two, three. We got four lines. Let's actually instead. All right. Okay. And then I have beetroot around here somewhere. Here we go. Not quite a full thing of beetroot. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. And then we do, we do still technically have the automatic pumpkin farm back here. And it's still technically giving us pumpkins. So I don't see a reason to like mess with that just yet. I think I think it's good for now. I think it's good for now. But yes, you were asking what I thought of rats and mice. I like them. They are sweet babies. They mean you no harm. Um, however... When they get into your food stores, they're kind of a problem, you know? It's one of those things where, like, if they're inconveniencing me personally, I gotta do what I gotta do. But also, they're just little vermins trying to get by. I honestly can't blame them. It's, it, it's fine. It's fine. I like pet mice. Pet mice are adorable. When I was younger, um, I was really into the anime Hamtaro. 
and as a result, I really liked hamsters. Luckily, I was smart enough to recognize that, like, the cartoon hamsters were different from, like, the real hamsters, and I never actually, like, asked for one. Hamsters are very difficult pets. They are not friendly. Like, some of them can be somewhat friendly to, like, one person, but on the whole, they are not really a good pet for a kid. Um, very finicky, very easy to be injured or lost, heaven forbid. Um, so I just appreciated them from afar. They're very cute. Little rodent critters. We, uh, we had a pair of wild mice that we technically kept as pets for a short time. Um, we were visiting my grandparents when I was like eight or so, and they had a whole bunch of land and a whole bunch of barn cats. They used to raise pigs. They didn't by the time I was born. And, uh, so, you know, farming's in my veins. Both grandparents were farmers. Uh, grandpa on my mother's side uh, did crops. Uh, grandpa on my father's side did livestock. So, you know, kind of a family history going on there. But um, one of their barn cats had cornered a pair of baby field mice um, inside an old rotten log and was like losing its mind trying to catch these field mice. Well, we saw them cuddled up in the bottom of the rotten log, scared out of the little, little micey minds. And my mother just got that in her head that we had to save them. So we got a fish tank, we grabbed them, we put them in the fish tank, we brought them home. Um, and uh, we cared for them for a while. They were very small. So we gave them food and water, and they didn't like us very much because they were wild field mice. But we waited um, until they had grown, like, however however long it is for, like, field mice to become independent. Once they no longer, like, needed us to, like, give them food, they started to seek it out. We were like, okay, into the wild they go. So, I mean, they weren't really pets. We named them, and we, like, we didn't interact with them because they were wild, but we did, like, rehabilitate them and let them re release them back into the wild. They were cute little things. They were cute little things. I'm trying to think. There was another animal that we saved. I don't know if it was a sparrow or a dove. I want to say it was a dove um, that had injured itself and we tried nursing it back to health and it didn't take, unfortunately. Unfortunately. We had a bunch of outside cats as well, a lot of barn cats growing up. And uh, occasionally they would bring home something they probably shouldn't have. Uh, one time, our tiniest kitten, the very the smallest one, got it into her head that she was a great hunter. A blue jay swooped down, uh, I want to say about 10 feet off the ground, and this little baby kitten, she wasn't even a full year old, said, that's mine. She leapt the full 10 feet from a, from a standstill, caught it in midair, slammed it to the ground, and my mother was like, oh my god, Tiffy, no! And she ran out and she freed the bird and it flew off, but dang. Dang. Uh, what other animal adventures do I have? Uh, one time my chocolate lab traumatized a mole. <laughs> my mother was watching from the, uh, the front door. We had a window in the front door. And she's watching and uh, the chocolate lab is out in the field running around and having a grand old time. She's grabbing something and throwing it up in the air. And then it landed and she'd run and grab it again. My wife, my, my, my wife, my mother was like, what was that, like a ball? What is that, like like a piece of sod? And then she looked at it real close and she got go end over end and all four little mole feet were splayed out as it spun through the air. And my mother went, oh no, that's a mole. So she ran out there and she, the dog hadn't like hurt it aside from jostling it around a little bit. She was doing that, that lab thing where they gently pick it up in their mouth. Uh, but then she flung it so she could chase after it. So the poor thing was stunned to all hell. And once it like figured itself out, it very quickly burrowed away. But uh, that poor mole, hopefully he made it and told the story to all of his little grand mole kids. Poor baby. I haven't seen any moles or woodchucks here. I, I'm sure moles exist in Florida. Or do they exist in Florida? It's very wet. I can't imagine they have a whole lot of space to burrow. But rabbits live in Florida, and rabbits build burrows, so maybe? Maybe there's moles? Um, but there are no woodchucks. I know that. I miss woodchucks. Woodchucks are cute little critters. They're sweet little babies. Uh, they're mean as shit if you interact with one. But like from a distance, they're just kind of like... 
less interesting gophers. You know? Alright, so... By the time I finish planting this, the first ones that I planted are going to be all grown. That's just how that works. There we are. And I probably should have grabbed my hoe. But I did not. Because I am a fool. Once we finish planting all of this, we need to head over to Jericho. Specifically because we need to start figuring out what, what size we're working with in order to pass underneath Otaku's bridge. We need to build a boat that will allow us to transport our vegetable goods all the way over to Jericho. But we can't make it too big or it won't fit under the fucking bridge. And I do not think that Otaku will allow me to fuck with the bridge. The last time I so much as looked at it wrong, I had a very angry Otaku in my inbox uh, messaging me and being like, Who the fuck did this? Who ruined my bridge? And I was like, well, well I guess I can't do that. Yikes. Hell hath no fury like an Otaku scorned. Quite frankly. To be fair, it, it was perfect. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? There wasn't anything wrong with my bridge. It was beautiful. It was functional. And I will not stand here and listen to you complain about it. I just, no. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I will not accept this sacrilege. All right, we're almost out of carrots. And once we are out of carrots... Now, here's the thing, right? Wheat drops one wheat per. And we got, like, 4,000 wheat, right? Even if we only plant half the amount of carrots as we had wheat, that's still 2,000 carrots. Like, I don't know at what scale the individuals who are buying my product are going to actually be using up that stock, but it feels like a decent amount. It feels like they shouldn't have to worry about much. You know what I mean? Even with only two major harvests, um, I should have enough to feed everyone and then some. The problem, the, the only problem with Minecraft farming, right? In the context of Minecraft, it's perfect. It's exactly what it needs. In the context of someone who likes farming, it's, 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 it's too easy. Hunger becomes trivial once you reach a certain point, right? Like, like, obviously, you don't want hunger to be an issue at every level of the game, but once you get, like, carrots and some gold to put around them, you're basically done. That's basically... That's basically the game there. You did it. Congratulations. And for Minecraft, that's fine. Hunger is only meant to, like, limit your ability to do other things. You know? Like, hunger hunger exists to minimize your ability to sprint. It, it has to do with your healing. Like, it, it really only exists as sort of, like, a, um, a stopper to prevent you from just being in creative mode all the time. And that's perfectly fine from a game design perspective. But hunger as a mechanic on its own is really lacking. Um, I have played with some mods that try to correct this. Um, or at least have an alternative to... Oh, do I have to craft these in the seeds? Uh-oh. Can I... I can't turn these into seeds, can I? No, they turn to dye and that's it. So I have to go find beetroot seeds. Oh, I really hope that I did not accidentally... Um... <laughs> put all my beetroot seeds into the bone meal mater 9000. That would be... That would be not great. But it's fine. It's fine. Honestly, no one likes beetroot anyways. 
Like, if you have beetroot, that's fine. But no one in their right mind is going to be like, oh, yeah, my food of choice is beetroot. What the fuck? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. But, yeah, I've played some mods that try to correct this. Um, what was the one where it keeps track of the food you eat? And the more you eat of a certain food, uh, lowers... There's a, oh, I can think of the icon for the mod specifically. Anyway, it um, it kept track of all the food you ate and uh, lowered the amount of hunger it restored, uh, comparable to how often and how frequent how how frequently uh, you, how recently you ate it. So like you couldn't just cram back carrots and call it a day after eating X amount of carrots. You have to, you no longer get as much back from eating carrots until you eat something else. Spice of life. That's what it was called. Spice of life. I remember that. Um, there was also another mod where it separated the foods into groups. So like you needed to have an amount of veg, an amount of meat, an amount of dairy in order to be nutritionally balanced. And it would keep track of like how much of each you ate and give you buffs or debuffs based on how much you ate. Like if you only ever ate vegetables, like you weren't going to die, but you wouldn't, there was like a, there was like an extra buff you get for having all of your food groups properly balanced. That was kind of fun because it was all, it was also like you were doing it for gameplay, but also you were trying to min max it. Like, well, I have this amount of pumpkins. If I eat this today with this, then that, then next time, next day, I'll only have this many. So I gotta focus on getting those pumpkins or another alternative veg. And it was, it was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. There was one, I think one of the first mods that really tried to fuck with hunger as a mechanic was more about a checklist. The, the idea was that if you ate something, it would no longer be good for you to eat until you ate something else. And there was a long checklist of food that you still had not eaten yet. And you were meant to eat a little bit of everything before the foods became useful for you again. That one ended up being, especially with mod packs that had like um, Pam's Harvest Craft in it, that just ended up being a ball ache. Farming one of every single crop, making sure that you actually had a checklist, that you made all the foods. Like for hardcore packs where like uh, fulfilling checklists is the point of the pack, it was fine. But in regular gameplay, I was like, mm, I'm not really into this. That's why I like Spice of Life so much. Spice of Life was fun. It probably still exists in some form. I just haven't noticed it um, because I no longer crave that uh that experience hunger is more of an annoyance for me than anything about the game that i actually really want to interact with the only reason i bother farming is because the act of farming itself is fun and also it's very on brand so there was a mod called agricraft i don't know if it's being actively updated uh i played it and i hated it because it was farming taken to the logical extreme there was like crossbreeding and you had to propagate shit before it would properly grow you could make like higher quality of crops and it was kind of like required in order to get any good food out of it and all right that's that's all that i have that's all that i have i need to go up into the cloud storage and see if i have any beetroot seeds in order to actually plant some fucking beetroot because I am a fool. And I thought you could just jam beetroot into the ground and call it a day. But no, no. All right. Oh, where's the, oh, here's the way out. All right, let's take a look, see. Let's put the beetroot back in here. Here is pumpkin seeds. Here is wheat seeds. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. I think we might be in trouble. I think we might be in trouble. Those are all potatoes. These are all beetroot. That is empty. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Let's look at the greenery chest. Iron, copper, wood greenery. I have wheat seeds, but no... No beetroot seeds. Oh, that's not good. I'm gonna have to find someone to trade with for 
beetroot. Oh, this is so embarrassing. This is... This is so embarrassing. I'm the farmer! I am the one who farms! How am I... Out of a resource like this? What if someone came to me in desperate need of a beetroot and expected, oh, don't worry, the farmer definitely has it, and then he doesn't? I would be the laughing stock. Who can I contact to amend this without ruining my good name? Who do I have blackmail on? Actually, I think literally nobody. If anyone has any blackmail on anyone, it's everyone on me. <laughs> Oh no, oh no. All right, well Next 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 thing next thing next thing. Okay uh, We're not gonna bother the harp the silo today. We did a harvest. We put carrots and potatoes in there Raise the bridge by otaku. That's not gonna fly build a bigger boat uh, Let's go ahead and grab a bunch of cobble and then I should have a pickaxe one of these, yes, my diamond pickaxe. I'll do the efficiency two one. All right, and I'll take a old stabbers just to be safe. Uh, and we are going to go across the way to Jericho and Otaku's bridge, um, specifically to measure the bridge to see how tall and wide it is, so that we can create a boat that will sail through there. Mind you, this is this is for roleplay purposes, so like don't get too excited. I wish we had a mod on the server that allowed us to have like real boats. That would be a fucking time. Uh, but alas, no. There are reasons why I am not the leader on this server, and it is because I get too excited about every Minecraft mod that ever exists, and I would spend so much time fucking around with the servers the server itself that no one would ever be able to play. Alright. Mr. Turtle. Off we go into the wild blue yonder, flying high. Da, 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 da. All right, so there's the bridge. It's fairly high, but each of these individual um, arches aren't terribly big. There's also the issue where this rock definitely juts out a bit too far. I may have to shave that back to give the boat some clearance. But, all right, so let's, uh, let's start here. I will remove all of this, okay? Don't no one get their, uh, their undies in a twist. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Everyone remember, 11 blocks wide, okay? Write that down, write that down. Patrick, write that down. 11 blocks wide, okay? Now, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20, approximately before the arch hits. So 11 by 22, that's actually fairly easy to remember. 1, 1, 2, 2. 1, 1, 2, 2. 1, 1, 2, 2. 1, 1, 2, 2. 1, 1, 2, 2. Now I won't forget. If you repeat something 10 times, um, it sticks in your brain easier. Especially if it has a little beat to it. Oh, I probably should not have done that while I was still on it. All right, so we clear this up. go gather all of our stone Boop. and get back in the boat all right so 11 by 22 that is the limit the maximum limit that we can build now mind you it's 22 from the surface of the water so we can make it a little deeper if we need to also we should probably make it nine or ten blocks wide just so that it fits you know air quote fits all right let's head over to the dock and take stock of what we have so currently we have this little tugboat 
um, that we have been using to uh, take our, our hay collectibles to and from. Unfortunately, it's kind of been floating here for a good while, um, specifically because uh, old Jericho no longer existed. Uh, we built it out of acacia, kelp, and wheat, and it did its job. It worked fine, um, but then, of course, our store ceased to exist, and now we need to have it uh, going to multiple locations. Uh, so we need to build a much larger boat, in my opinion. A much oh oh we got a we got a guy over there. Let's avoid uh, him. Let's go over this way and hop into bed. All right. So yes, I want to build. Oh, hello. Oh, I didn't even notice the dragons online. Fuck yeah. Oh, I have a, I have a letter. Oh shit, I didn't even read this. Seeking Veggies by Emily Ao. What is this? Greetings, farmer. Uh, you'll have to excuse my awkwardness. It's been very long. It's been a very long while since I interacted with you dreaming player types. What do they mean by that? That aside, I'm trying my best to reach out since I'm a strong and powerful dragon. Yes, yes, we've established you're a strong and powerful dragon. Uh, my puny little villagers are inept when it comes to growing a variety of crops, and it would be er, very inconvenient, for me that is, if they were to wither away from malnutrition. I've settled above a, villager, a village further east of the engineer settlement. I'll have to work out a mode of, method of transportation for your produce. I think it best we stick to root vegetables and maybe some grains for the sake of shelf life. Well, con conveniently, conveniently, I look forward to working with you. Why are there 69 pages? This is a lot of paper. This this is a this is a lot of paper. <laughs> the voices in my head <laughs> the voices in my head wanted to let you know. <laughs> Pingus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's pretty funny. All right, so that's 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 an, that's an official an official letter from the dragon requesting uh, some tubers and some wheat. Well, lucky for them, do I have quite the stash? Quite the stash. All right, so I do. I will like the rabbit. Thank you for the rabbit. So we need to build some boats. And they need to be a certain width. Now, how far between here and here do I have? One, two, three, four, five. All right, that's nowhere near as... It's nowhere near as useful as it should be. Do I have to build another dock? No, you know what? Here's what I'll do, right? So this is going to be the dock where all the fairies pop off of, and they head out further into water to, sta to store up the actual boat. So let us head out to the actu where the actual boat is going to be, and let's get started. Chicken? Underwater? What? All right, how far out do I want to build this thing? I want it to have a straight shot past the lip. So probably all the way out here, actually. Should I build it back some? Yeah, I'll build it back some. I'll build it, like, right here, I think. It's almost in render distance of the cloud, so that's good. All right, now we drop all the way down. And then we cobble all the way up. Okay. So this is water level. I think what I'm gonna do. And let's let's mm, let's let's build this in cobble first. 
just so I can see the scale of it, right? So let's do one, two, three, four. And then over here, we do one, two, three, four, five. That's not a terribly lot amount of space, unfortunately. That's all right. So from here, let's go forward. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then we'll do five back. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. All right. And let's go ahead and fill all this in just to get an idea of what space we're working with. And we're going to give it a flat back um, because I very specifically want to build a river boat like they have on the Mississippi, where they have the big rotating blades in the back, the steamboats uh, pushing it forward. I want to build one of those. That's the plan. All right, and let's go out by one like this, and like this. And then here I go back two. Okay. I will be replacing this with wood once I determine what wood I actually want to use. The problem is that these boats are usually white and there is no white wood. I could use birch and it would get the job done, uh, but it's not quite the same. It's not quite the same. All right. Don't worry about the extra pieces of cobble. This is just to get a size, a sense of scale rather. Okay. So imagine we have a, 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 a big thing of a big paddle on the back. So it actually is going to go back another like four or six blocks. This looks decently sized. Once I get to detailing, it'll probably be too small for my liking. But at the very least, it'll look approximately right. If that makes any sense. All right. So let's use the remainder of our cobble to get an outline. And then we will go looking for uh, for resources. Boop, boop. And then back again, and then back again. Oh, did I, did I miscount? One, one, oh, I did miscount. I went too far. Oh, I went, I, I went all way too far, actually. So one, one. No, this is where the two starts. All right. And then we head back this way. Ta-da! Whoops, wrong button. All right, gather up our stone. Not that we need a whole bunch of it. And I'll, 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 I'll worry about this later. Don't worry about it, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so then. Let us head back up to Cloud Storage. And we will see what we have vis-a-vis -vis Birchwood. And uh, barring that, if we have anything else in the same vein, in a high enough quantity that we can burn a whole bunch of it on this boat. Can we see the boat platform from this here dock? That's actually very important to me. It looks like we can. So if we build the boat up high enough, it will be visible. Fantastic, fantastic.
there has never really been a good boat mod for Minecraft. Like, to like actually replicate like sailing mechanics, you know? Minecraft does just not lend well to it, which is a darn shame. Let's see, iron, copper, wood. We have six birch logs and that's it. I dare say that's not gonna be enough. Um, all right, but to be fair, we also don't have a whole lot of oak either. All right, where can we go? Hmm. Where can we go to find birch? Give me one moment. My beautiful wife has pinged me and I want to make sure. Okay, hold on, let me respond to this real quick. Okay. Um, I don't have any saplings. Oh, I do have four birch saplings in my greenery. And I do have a diamond axe back here. So what I'll probably have to do is get a bunch of bone meal from the, uh, from the bone meal mater 9000. Oh, the sun's going down. Geronimo! Spoosh. Uh, from the Bone Millionaire 9000. Uh, grow a bunch of birch and chop it all down because that's the content you all came here for today. How does birch look? I'm curious. How does birch look next to um, the mangrove? Let's go put this up. Uh, let's put this by the barn. How does this look next to each other? I mean, the texture is similar. I feel like I would have wanted the birch to be brighter than it is, but it doesn't look terrible next to it. Let's pop into the bed. You know what? We haven't actually organized payment from the dragon. So maybe, maybe we can go over and bother them real quick. And see if they'd be interested in a bit of a, a bit of a you scratch my back, I scratch yours kind of dealio. You know? Let's uh let's go, let's go, let's go find the dragon. Let's go find the dragon. And uh we'll uh, see if they have any birch for me. Let's see. First of all, it's further east from the engineer. So here is the engineer. Here's Mithrune. And then I don't see any bases on my map. But I do see a whole bunch of black space where I haven't been. So I'm willing to bet money that the dragon's lair is in that area if it isn't farther out. So let's just travel that away and uh, see if we can't locate them. They're definitely not in chat right now talking to me. The characters in chat are different than the characters on the server for roleplay reasons. <laughs> cough, cough. What's this? Oh, this is just, this is the opening. Push button to ring doorbell. Oh my god! It doo -doo 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 -doo. It really should be Megalovania. Doo -doo -doo -doo. That would be fucking hilarious. Yes, you're just a little funny little voice in my in my brain. Tee hee. Tee hee. Alright. Let's head up this way. Tee hee. Giggles. Giggles sweetly. Ooh woo. Rar XD. All right, here's the witch water reservoir. Reservoir. <laughs> the flowing fountain of infinity. Oh no, it's not infinity. It's of infinity. It's a bit different. The flowing Fountain of Infinity. All right. Ooh, there's a hole down there. Let's see, in what direction are we going? We need to head straight across this, ooh, that could have been dangerous, this Sahara area. And hopefully we will be on the, be on the lookout for any sign of civilization. Any sort of building, 
any sort of actually you know what I gotta turn my microphone on real quick any sort of sign of life I don't see anything yet, but it's kind of a big area that I got to cover. You know, they might even be underground. Well, no, no, no. They said they were in a village. So unless the village was underground, then they should be fairly noticeable. <sighs> Head on up here. I wish I had my glider. I wish I had my glider. I wish I had a Lytra. I wish I had a faster way of getting around this server. It would be nice. Like, I don't need it. But it would be nice. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. That, that looks like civilization to me. That looks like someone lives here and builds here. So let's head on down. Oh, yep, nope. We got, we got some golems going on. Hello, good fellows. Oh, they have a farm. Hold on, I'm coming down. Greetings. Howdy. Howdy, 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 howdy. Don't mind me. Um, have you seen your lord and master, the dragon, around recently? No? That's all right. I'll find them. I'll find them. Um, what is... Okay. Is there anything to... Oh, that's a hole. That's a hole. Don't go down the hole. Don't go down the hole. Let's go around this way. Hello, fellow farmers! Howdy! Kytheon Bradford. Do you, have, do you have a name? Kovira. Hello, hello. You got a nice little uh, little farm going on here. Growing some wheat? Growing some wheat? Looks like you're doing a pretty good job of it. Got some bone mulinators going on. What are you what are you what are you trading, perhaps? Oh, you are trading. Oh, you're trading. You you want food from me. Okay. Alright. Interesting. Well, I don't have any food on me that isn't, like, meat-based, so, you know. Um, I'll have to uh, refrain from that for now. Oh, you're a master trader. Look at all the stuff you got. Amazing. All right. Well, I'm going to go talk to your dragon. Uh, enjoy your farm. Bye, everyone. Their farming got shit on mine. Mine is clearly superior. <laughs> Ahem. Let's see here. If I were a dragon, where would I... Hmm. Oh, this is, that's, that's, that's where the sheep are. That's where the cows are. I was like, what is this black dot in the center of my minimap? Hello? Hello? Dragon person? Are you around? Hmm. The village is here, but what, the dragon will need, will need to have a base. That is like separate from. Oh, oh! I dare say that's it. I dare say they're in the mountains. Farmer. Oh hi! Hi there. You found my village, okay? That's I, good to know. I did, but I did spend way too long not realizing that you 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 live in the very obvious house in the mountainside. Um, so, I think it balances out. I, I, yeah, I like to feel tall. I completely you know understand. Hmm. I don't know if you've noticed this, but they have a few inches on you. You might want to invest in heels. <sighs> I know, I know. Do you count the horns when you measure, or? <laughs> I don't know, do you? <laughs> Fair, fair enough, fair enough. Um, but yes, hello. Um, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. So um, I, am, I got your letter. I got your letter. I got your order. Um, and I am more than willing to follow through on that. Um, I am, however, actively working on a delivery system to allow me to ship orders to and from various places around. And I seem to be out of wood. Uh, I was wondering. Highly sought after farmer, I see. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's just like three centers of commerce now: yours, Ren's, and Raglan's. And none of, none of, like, I mean, obviously, you have people that are doing a very good job, a very good there. job of farming. Shh, 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 
Just don't break their hearts. Don't break their hearts. They're doing their best. Okay, They're doing okay. their best. Exactly. They're doing their best, and we can't ask for more. Well, actually, we can because it's food, and they need that. You guys make great food, but I could bring you food to help you keep making food. Yeah, let's let's, let's kind of scoot over here a little bit. Just kind of out of earshot. Um, so I was wondering if you've had specifically birch wood. Uh, there's like five logs. <laughs> well, that's that's five more than I had a second ago. I was really <laughs> hoping. Okay, nope, no, nope, that's fine. That's fine. Um, do you want these back or no? Uh, you can you can take them, farmer. Okay, okay. Would okay, you like? Okay. Would you like me to? gather for you? I mean, it Could would you, save assist in it? It would it would save me some time. You got an axe? I do in fact I did Actually, in fact bring no, mine just broke. <laughs> I think it oh. broke on those five logs if I'm uh, if I'm being honest. Oh no. That's not ideal. Here, I here, mean, wait, wait, okay. I got I got this. I got okay, this. okay, okay, okay. So what are you building in this area anyway? Like, aside from the village, obviously. Um, well, this is going to be the library. This is, uh, sorry. No, it's all right. I'm trying not to fall in the hole. It's, uh... <sighs> yeah. It's a little dangerous. Do your best. Don't... Y yeah, it is a little dangerous, but also, like, I see a bunch of resources down there. So, like, you got a, you got a decent place to start a mine. Yeah. My plan is to have the library be multiple levels going down. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. Oh, thank you for the hydration cross. Uh, let me grab my drink real quick. <clears throat> Where's my drink? Here it is. <clears throat> ah, thank you very much. Thank you for assisting with the sound effects. <laughs> sound effects. Um, but yeah, I have uh, I have four birch right here and almost a stack of bone meal. If you wouldn't mind assisting me with some chopping. Yeah, if I can do that. Uh, do you have an area in particular where you like are cool with me uh, setting it up? There is not a ton of space here. There's not a lot of ton of space, actually, yeah. You kind of developed a bunch of it. Do you mind if I just jam them down here in the middle of the village square? I found some more birch logs, by the way. Yes, I'll take them! Only 12, but you know. Hey, listen. Listen, I'll take what I can get. There we go. I grab my diamond. So was this village here when you showed up, or did, like, you take over the area and then the Tessificus moved in? Um, yeah, it's a weird one. Yeah? I, I, I arrived through a portal. Right, I as one does. thought that I was in a village, and then I woke up and I was no longer in a village. Yeah! Yeah. My portal is still here, though, so I don't understand. I must have been here the whole time, I guess. No, no, it, no. I, I know. It, but it's not. It, it didn't feel right, you know? I, I know what happened. And I'm surprised Ren hasn't, like, explained it to you. Um, so I guess that's my job now. Um, apparently this world is a little funky. Uh, and may or may not want us here. So, like... Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. It's the people in the world that don't want me there, not the world itself. Yeah, no, that's a new one for me, too. That's a new one for me, too. So, like, um, we had a whole shopping district that all of us had, like, chipped in on. We all had our own stores. I'm already at a bone meal. Uh, that's gone now. That ceased to exist. Um, it's now a giant hole in the ground. Ren might have uh, shown it to you. I did actually, I did see the big hole. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought it was, someone, someone was going on about it being turtles. So you've met another fae then. was that a then. different incident? You've met another fae then. Heard, Listen. Heard, heard from. 
take everything Netherface says with a massive grain of salt. They're 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 new. They're they 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 say a lot of stuff and they don't really understand the context of it. Do you mind if I just nip one of these uh these villager beds? Move, I'm gay. <laughs> there we go. Fantastic. You said you were out of bone meal? I am out of bone meal. I did not grab much. I'm sorry. I'm so I come to you for assistance and all you have and you just have to baby me. I oh, don't man. think I have much bone meal. I have one bone meal. That's Hmm. You, your guys haven't made more than this? Well, I've been using it. Ah, uh, that's fair. That's honestly fair. Have you ever considered investing in a bone meal meter 9000? In a Yeah, in that was <laughs> Oh no. Boning? No. <laughs> No, the Bone Mealimator 9000. Bone me mate or Okay, you, now you're now you're now you're just trying to make it sound dirty. Uh no 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 no. It's yes, a it's a wondrous machine that automatically converts large amounts of seeds and other greenery into bone meal for you without any effort whatsoever. Uh, I can install one for you if you're interested. Sure. Nice. Nice 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 nice. Um, obviously, I didn't bring a whole lot with me. Um, we can but move this operation if it's more convenient for you. Probably. Honestly, uh, this should probably be enough to get me started. I can at least get the base of the boat going, and then in my free time, I'll do a whole bunch of, uh, of chopping stuff down. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This will be a great beginning. I got like one, two, three, four, five, six and a half stacks. So like this will this will get me going. This will get me going. Thank you so much for your assistance. Um, of course. Once I get that first shipment, I'm I'll... very big and strong and powerful, and I can I can I can chop trees real good. Yes, you can. I saw it with my own two eyes. If anyone asks, I'll I'll tell them I was witness. Perfect. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, so how it usually works is that I send you uh, your first shipment. You tell me how much you think you want to pay for it, and then we use that as the going rate from that point forward. You tell me how much more you need. All right. All right. Uh, we'll figure it out. All right. I appreciate the assistance, and I will talk to you soon-ish. Yeah, I mean, let me know if you need any more uh, manual labor assistance. I'm always happy to help. <laughs> All right. Well, well, thank you. Especially if I'm getting a deal out of it. Exactly. Um, it helps. Out of, out, of, out of real quick curiosity... Um, and this is this this doesn't affect our deal in any way. I do want to know vis-a-vis -vis, uh, royalty. How does that work with you being a dragon? Are you going? Are like, is there uh, is there any tensions? I mean, I'm, not, I'm not not too fond of royalty. Okay. Generally. Okay. So, At least um, my past encounters haven't been great. I completely understand. So, just to give you a heads up, I do sort of have a sworn allegiance with uh, the prince in this region. Um, he technically owns the land my farm is on. I don't know how that works when I was there first, but whatever. Hmm. Um, so, in the in the in, in the event that like anything gets a little 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 weird, like just 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 send me a message and we'll still get this going. Like, don't worry about it. Okay, it's 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 fine. It's fine. All right. Um, but if you need like a go between when uh, the prince does show back up, uh, let me know and I'll see if I can't do something for you. That is very good to know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did, I did hear that there was royalty on the server. Yeah, and I was a little honestly, nervous about that. Just tell, like, just tell him he's kind of handsome, and he'll just do whatever you say. I'm writing this down. He's in my head. Okay, good. Um, so uh, he's very rich. He has lots of diamonds. And he gives them away. Don't tell me he's got shiny things, man. He does, in fact, have shiny things. Uh, but his castle's an absolute wreck. I will note that. Not a whole lot worth stealing in that. I did I did see it. Ren he, walked me around part of 
uh, the settled area. Though. He is the perfect man, what. rich and stupid. So write that down as well. <laughs> I thought I saw another thing over here. Uh, but yeah, no. If you need to contact him, let me know. I will skip off and see you later. All right. Good, goodbye. Get back to your uh, farm safe. I know that the woods between the two of us is a little treacherous. A, a little bit, but I have old stabbers here, so I'll be fine. All right. Toodle pip. I'm very shiny. See ya. Well, that went better than I expected. Not that I expected anything bad to happen, but, you know. Out of all the interactions I've had with other people on the server, that was actually probably one of the better ones that didn't involve me being accused of a crime or something. So I think this is going to be a very fruitful relationship. Ironically, it is with a very big and strong and powerful mythical creature. Um, but at this point, I really can't be choosy. My other options are Ren. Hop up here. Uh, <laughs> oh no, the voice in my head is uh, arguing that my lore isn't correct. Alright. There is a bunch of birch just like on the way, so I could probably grab... Birch is one of those woods where you never want it until you need it. And then it's a hassle because you have to go get it. Like, what the fuck? Why can't I just have the wood type that I want without having to put any effort in? Like, damn. Um, I will say that that does me all except for this bit up here. I have filled in pretty much the entire map from place to place. What's this over here? Oh, it's a nice, nice little uh, savannah village. Okay, over by Mocha. Because this is Mocha's base. Did I, say, did I in fact say that about Birch last time? Did I literally say that about Birch last time? Well, my opinion still holds. You never want it until you need it. And then you gotta get it, and it's just a hassle for everyone. Why must I personally be uh, inconvenienced by this reality? This is bullshit. I want to speak to a manager. Normally you want oak instead of birch, then suddenly you need- Exactly! Exactly! The pro- the other problem is that there's no good way of automating collecting wood unless you're using mods. Um, I- I would much rather invest in the infrastructure to get a magic box that poops out logs at me than I would be to, like, just go and cut down logs as, uh, as I need it. Oh, this is a nice little pond area. What is that down there? Oh, okay, all right. There's some floating islands here as well. Hey, Boomer! Thank you so much for the raid with a party of one. Honestly, it's your party and you can cry if you want to. Uh, you get a jolly jangle of the cheer bell. <laughs> thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you so much! Amazing. We just came back from speaking with the dragon. They helped us get some birch wood for our boat that we're building uh, because we need to uh, transport all of the veggies they've ordered to their location. So building a boat is a must. We got a decent amount of birch. At least enough to get started. Okay. Boop. 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 I do anticipate using mangrove as the, um, the, the accent. Hello, hello! Hello, hello, boomer! Welcome to the stream. All right, so here's how we're going to do this. Your computer isn't happy with you? I'm sorry. Computer problems suck. They just suck so much. All right, we are gonna start by going around the edge with the birch. So we have a uh, water level frame 
to work from. I don't know if I want to use stairs for the underneath or not. Um, or if I want to just make the underneath solid blocks. We can waterlog stairs now. But, but, um, that's kind of an extra hassle we don't really need. Alright, there's that frame. Hmm. Yeah, let's go down. Do I have my, I do have my, my pickaxe on me. Let's go down one more. And fill that in. And then we can give it shape underneath once we're done. There we go. Oh, it's nighttime. That's a problem. I am building a ship. I've decided that the method by which I am going to be transporting my veg to and from Jericho, and I guess now the Dragon's Mountain Village, whatever they call that, uh, is going to be by boat. Obviously, this is for roleplay purposes only. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. I specifically want to build a river boat uh, like the kind that sails on the Mississippi. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yes. What's good, Gata? You're in drive through at a pharmacy. Hi, T again. I hope you're doing okay. We are building a boat. Actually, funnily enough, when I was little, uh, when I was, like, really little, people would ask me what I wanted to be when I grew up. And I didn't fucking know. So I always said the first thing that came to my mind. And up until I was about, I wanna say seven or eight, uh, my answer was always, I'm gonna be a boat builder. So from between four and eight, I got into my head that I was gonna be a boat builder. Did I know the first thing about boats? No. Did I actually have any interest in architecture or engineering to build boats? No. But my little brain said, well, I said I was going to be a boat... Excuse me, sir. Thank you. My little my little, little me said, I'm going to build it, be a boat builder. And that's what I stuck with for years. So it's kind of ironic. Boats are cool, but not as cool as trains. In my personal opinion, trains are much cooler than boats. Um, honestly, we should be, we should, we should do a Minecraft playthrough where I just mess around with a train mod. That would be fun. I should go see when the most, uh, s most supported version of immersive engineering is and do an entire playthrough of just immersive engineering with the trains and the oil and the ore and just, just, just that, just that. Polar Express mod when? God. It's, it, it's significantly more interesting to, to, to live on a boat, uh, to have a boat, we live on an island IRL. Oh, do you live on an island IRL? Oh, that's fascinating. Uh, which coast are you on? Because I know you're in Canada. Don't dox which island. Uh, but are you on the old versions of, okay. So the problem with Railcraft, the problem with, I have family uh, who lives in the Canadian islands on the East Coast and they live like lawless bastards because no one gives a shit what happens on their island. Uh, they're all fishermen and they're also in a cult. This story stopped being relatable two words in, but you say you won't say which one, smart, but you're on the sm a small island. Uh, you're smaller than Vancouver Island. Not a cult? No, no, no. They are in a cult. It's very much a cult. It's very much a cult. Um, what was I saying? Take over the cult island. Yeah, in Minecraft, not a lot of good sailing mods have come out. You know, there's 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 like one or two that were out for 1.710 that were okay, but for the most part, there has never been any real good sailing mods, which is a damn shame, especially once the ocean update came out. Once the ocean update came out, me and my friends were so excited for pirates. 
oh my god, were we excited for pirates? And then pirates never really happened. Like, there are pirates. You can get, like, cutlasses and shit. But there's no, like, pirates on the high seas kind of dealio, you know? It's just not the same. It's just not the same. The only good airship, the uh, only good transport mods you've seen were airships and rockets. I've seen some good train mods. Oh, that's right. I was going to say. So, um, it turns out the Railcraft guy is a white supremacist? Like, he, like, back in 2017, he decided he wanted the world to know his political affiliation. And he got himself kicked out of, like, every major Minecraft modding group there was because his his beliefs were very vile. Uh, yeah, wasn't great. So unfortunately, Railcraft, not real big on that one, personally. Not a, not a big fan of that one myself. Uh, but I do remember playing it back in the day, back in 1.7 or 1.6 even, when it was like the train mod and yeah, no, it, it, it was pretty good. I can't even lie, it was pretty good. Create is doing good transport now with the trains. It is doing amazing. Create is fucking bizarre. I do not have the brain for it. I love it though. The 1.2.5 Tacket days. Oh, oh, those are words to delight a heart. Oh, Mithrune. Oh, Mithrune. God. Fucking memories. I'm trying to think what else. Uh, there was... So for train mods, there has been Railcraft. There's been um, Immersive. It's an Immersive Engineering add-on. I don't think it's called Immersive. Is it, is it Immersive Railroading? I want to say it's called Immersive Railroading. Um, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, I'm trying to think what else. There's another mod that is all about subway trains. Oh, I have to get a bucket and deal with this, aren't I? Yeah, I gotta fill all this in and then carve it all out, I guess. It, no, no, Immersive Engineering was the base mod. Um, the specific add-on, the specific add-on that added trains was Immersive Railroading or something. Um, it wasn't made by the guy who made Immersive Engineering. That was half the problem. It was an add-on that heavily relied on someone else's work. Um, so they were beholden to that individual's update schedule. Uh, the creator of Immersive Engineering, Blue Sunrise, is a really chill dude. We've never, like, spoken directly, but they're just a really chill dude. I like them. And I love their Immersive Engineering mod. It's very good. Very, very, very good. Hello, Ren! Welcome to the stream. I'm building a boat. That's all I got for you. I'm building a boat. Let's see here. We have unfortunately already gone through a couple of stacks just making this lower level, which isn't great. Yeah, we're making a boat so I can ship stuff to you. Duh. How else am I meant to get it over there? Oh, you know what? I should have built the Ever Given. <laughs> I should have built... Now that I'm here, I'm not going to change tack. But I absolutely should have built the Ever Given. And specifically made it too large to fit through Otaku's bridge. I absolutely should have done that. And the moment is now passed. I can't... I... I Alas, diet green. Oh my god. No, we're not tearing it down. I've already gotten this far on it. Oh, that's a lot of cobble. I'll have to wait till it all uh, 
rises up to the surface. Are there any more bits and bobs down here? No. Okay. The sunken cost fallacy. If I were to stop my projects to replace it with whatever du- Hello? My entire computer froze. I don't know if you can still hear or see me, but it's not responding. The music is still playing, but I... Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm back, I'm back. I don't know what happened on your guys' end, but my computer flipped out for a moment. Uh, give me a second. Can you still hear me, everyone? It says we're still live, but I don't know if I trust that. I guess we'll just keep going. That was on my end? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, it was on my end. It was on my end. My entire computer froze up. Um, nothing crashed and nothing broke. It just both screens froze for a moment. Um, you thought it was you. Okay, well, as long as we're still here. I don't know what that was about. But... Stream didn't explode, so I'll take it as a win? Question mark? All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually break this and this so I have a way in and out of the boat. All right. Uh, it's gonna be deeper than this, but for right now, this is the shape I want it to be in. So let's take a look at the size of it compared to everything else. It's about the same width as the inside of the barn looking at it. So that's not too bad. I should really get a, um, uh, a bed out here. So I'm not swimming, constantly swimming back to shore in order to skip the night. It's okay though. It's okay. Shoop. I'll grab the I'll grab the bed from the barn and I'll move it out onto the boat. So the uh so the pig <laughs> isn't <laughs> so I'm no longer sleeping with the pigu. Alright. So let's grab this. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna grab, where did all of those? Ah, oh, here they are. Grab a couple of barrels. All right, back out to the boat, back out to the boat. Mm, it's not as big as I would have liked it to be, but, but there is gonna be a big propeller in the back there. So maybe it'll look a little better once that's in place, question mark. So the plan is to make this look vaguely like the paddle boats that sail across the Mississippi. Uh, so I am going to want a lot of, um, oh, I probably should have grabbed the mangrove while I was over there. It's fine, it's fine. So um, uh, this is actually going to be, this level is gonna be where the, the walking is, where the actual board is. Uh, and then I'm gonna have the, there's gonna be a, a hull underneath it. Um, they're, they're, they're famously flat bottom ships, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna follow that too closely. Uh, the idea is that, uh, we're gonna have a single, I'll skip that for now, a single path leading around the edge of the boat with, um, uh, fences, red fences, keeping us from falling in the water. Um, and then there's going to be two levels of um, standing room where you can go sit in these very nicely glassed areas. Okay. 
So actually, we need to do one more around because I need to do walls. And then bop bop. Did I fuck something up? I think I fucked something up. Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Holy shit! What the fuck is wrong with you? You don't just teleport in front of a man! I have an axe in my hand! I could have literally executed you on the fucking- What if I had a gun? What would you have fucking Hello? done then? Why are you even out here? I'm in the- Oh, he oh, hi. Uh, hi, what? Um... So, this guy just teleported in front of me and scared the living daylights out of me. Oh. Okay, um, I was, and and I was also, you're watching my stream uh, on another- on another. Uh, <laughs> what was this? Oh, there. berries. Thank you. Yes. I have more of them than I'll ever know what to do with. I completely understand. Uh, also, you have uh, bird saplings in your box. <gasps> oh, thank you. I appreciate yep. that. I have some of pretty much just about every tree growing, so. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Um, do you happen to um have an idea for how I'm gonna get rid of this guy? Uh, I don't have any. I don't have any actual. Le Does he have any trades worth getting? Sugarcane, dye, ro rooted dirt, jungle sapling, white tulip, and a bucket of puffer fish. I don't have any in interest in buckets of puffer fish, sir. I need you to get off my bows. Like, it's not... Okay, llama, llama, please. I don't know how you got here, but... Get. Get. <laughs> get. Get off the boat. Just go. Just go. Just go. There we go. And... Oh, take your llama with you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Oh, man. Come on. Let me see if I can push him... Toward, toward this way. Come on! So, God. Okay, 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 there we go, there we go, there we go. Yep, now got get it. Get off the boat! Swim <laughs> to shore! And now, he, and now he will just sit there. Well, at least he's not bothering me while I'm trying to build this damn thing. True. Ugh. Well, I will leave you to it. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Indeed. I don't think... All right, well, back to work, I guess. What was I even doing? Oh, yeah, I gotta do like this. Skip one, continue on, I think. Okay, so this is where the walls of the ship are gonna be. Or at least the inner bits. Hi, Brisket. He has come to interact with me. You want to get my lap? He wants my lap. Good boy. Ow! He's clawing my lap! Ooh, ow! Okay, nope. None of that. Ouch! Right. Now let's see how much actual space this gives us to work with. Admittedly, not much. <laughs> Nowhere near as much as I thought I was going to have, at least. Once we factor in the fact we have to walk around the side and we gotta have the fences here. The problem is we can't even extend the boat out one on each side because it has to fit within an 11 block wide space. And this is already 10. So this is as far out as it fucking goes. Um. Alright. I mean, we can work with that. We can work with that. Let's go ahead and build up to three. And then one, two, three. Let's build up these outer walls. One, two, three. So along the sides of the ship, 
These are gonna have just like window after window after window so that when you stand inside, you can see out from all directions, right? Um, and then we're gonna have a, a staircase going to a second viewing platform uh, where the captain will stand and be uh, driving the ship. So actually the platform uh, will actually come out as wide here. So we're gonna have the fences along here, but it's also going to connect up and connect uh, with the upper level. So it will make the place look a little larger. Just a little bit larger. So one, two, three. Um, and with that, should I go four? Yeah, let's go four and have this be the lip. Once I run out of birch, I'll go back to the mainland uh, and grab some mangrove and start working on that. I'm not even positive how we're going to do the big, uh, the big wheel at the back, but we'll we'll figure it out. I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um. Okay. We go up one higher, and then we go out by two. So you're making one of the old timey steamboats. Yes. 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 And I am very excited for it. And here, I'm actually just going to go across like this, as opposed to making a lip, so that it feels like the front of the boat actually has more to it. Okay, let me go over one like this. I go one here, one like this, and like here. I think, yeah, then we gotta do like this. Oh, that's almost all of my birch. That's almost all of my birch. I'm gonna have to get more birch. But it's fine. We'll go back to the mainland. We'll grab a whole bunch of mangrove. We'll get some glass and we'll start, uh, start working on that. There we go. Let me actually use the remainder to go across here so I have both levels. You might be able to help with a water wheel at some point. That would be nice. It won't be functional, obviously, but, but. All right. Let's just fill the rest of this in, it's fine. All right, let's hop off and take a look at this baby. Okay, it's 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 a start. It's a bit of a fixer-upper. We still gotta have a second floor and then a roofing to it, and then the big water wheel in the back. Mike had just knocked something over. What the fuck did you knock over? Hold on, hold hold on a second, guys. I gotta I gotta go deal with whatever the fuck he just broke. Damn cat. What the fuck did you do? Priscilla, you knocked it over? Were you trying to get that new jingle ball? Is that what you wanted? The jingle ball? No, no jingle ball. Okay, just knock it off if you felt like it. Oh, I Okay, so um, nothing terrible shattered, nothing broke, um, but Brisket did knock over a spaghetti strainer and it made a loud clatter. Um, and then Priscilla, of all people, decided to get a little frisky and she knocked over my uh, pink see-through aesthetic Game Boy Advance.
I brought my bed with me. Why did I come all the way? Why did I come all the way under shore? Oh no, I still gotta get stuff anyway, so it's fine. Go sleep. All right. So now we gotta see what we have by way of a mangrove stores. Grab some oak while we're here. Um, we don't got more in there. We do have ladders though, I'll want those. We got some lanterns, those will be useful. Uh, you weren't gonna say anything, thanks, I appreciate it. We got some logs here. I have, a, I, have a, I have a crafting bench that I can use when I'm back on the other side. I'm not gonna bring over any decorations. We'll leave those be, but we'll bring this, and I'll bring some axes in case my diamond one isn't, you know, up to snuff. Another lantern. Let's see here. All right. I think that'll do. Oh, we gotta get glass. Do we have glass? I think what we have is sand and a, uh, a, a furnace to smelt them in. So let's see what we have vis-a-vis -vis glass. Nope, I, sir, I rotated too much. Let's see. No glass in here, and that's rail stuff. I have green glass. I don't know if I want it to be green. Do I have any sand to boot? Any sand at all? I gotta finish organizing this. Something fierce. I don't appear to have any sand. All right, I'm gonna have to get a diamond shovel and go collect a bunch of sand. There's a free furnace. Um, and I should have coal. Do I have sand in any of, nope. Doesn't look like I have any in there. I have Sandstone. Oh, that's why I have no sand. I use it all for that sandstone build back in Raglan's place. Oh, that makes so much sense. I I emptied my stores out. I am bone dry. Well, that's okay. That's fine. Delicious sweet berries. I will use what I have. Uh, and collect the sand on another day. Once I once I get finished getting everything out to the boat, we'll do the decoration that we can with the mangrove planks, and then move on to something else so y'all ain't bored. The carrots and potatoes seem to have grown in quite nicely. Doesn't look too bad out there, I don't think. Alrighty then, so let's go ahead and pop down here, grab our crafting table, our furnace, our barrel, and our ladder. All right, so bop, bop, bop. And we're gonna put everything that we don't immediately need in there. Well, I do want these actually. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, the bed needs to be somewhere. There we go. All right, I think we should, no, I don't have any birch. So what I am going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and put ladders God damn it. On either side of this so I can get in and out. Oh, don't worry about me in the throne. This is content. This is content. All right. So first things first, we grab the mangrove planks. I want to make a whole bunch of uh, mangrove. Let's see, a bunch of sticks, stack of sticks. I want a bunch of mangrove fences, okay? And then we're gonna start taking them around like so.
Fuck you. Okay. This ain't too bad. I think this looks kind of nice together. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, Raggles. You only get one. I forgot to put the cooldown on that. Well, you only get the one, so fuck you. Where's my drink? Here it is. Thank you for the hydrate. Ah. Delicious. Oh, it is the. Oh, oh my god. I am so sorry. I have to. Re re uh, yeah, the veg literate isn't working. Um, the veg literate isn't working, and I thought I had removed it, but I guess you could still do it. I am so sorry, Mithrune. I will give you your box back. Well, Tegan's not here, and I don't have the ability to refund you while I'm actively streaming, so you're just shit out of luck. I like how I told Raglan that something wasn't working, and he still did it just to make sure. He, he, he needed to be positive that I wasn't lying to him. But yeah, Tegan's not here, and I can't fuck with it while I'm actively streaming, so you're just SOL, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Alright. And we drag you down. Drag... You down. Alright. I'm going to want this one to connect. Whoops. And then this one to connect. There we go. There we are. Then it's this guy. Nope, I'm one. I fell. All right. Tegan, do not text and drive. Tegan, Tegan, do not text and drive. Thank you, John. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, well, this is where I belong. All right. Hup. Let's do one of these. Hop. And then you. Wow, your mods are the best. Do they get paid as much as I do? Henbert, I don't pay you anything. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> Jailed! Jailed for cra for labor crimes! My mods have unionized! Oh man, this is what I get. This is what I get for abusing the labor of my wonderful mods. Alright, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, so 14. So... Seven and seven. So every four or three? One, two, three. Bop. One, two, three. Bop. One, two, three. Bop. One, two. Doesn't quite work out as well as I would hope it would. Co yeah, only mods can make colored lamps, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Well, that's not entirely true, Raglan. There are frog lamps now. Um, but those are closer to being um, glowstone variants than anything. All right, so we start from the back. We go one, two, three, bop. One, two, three, bop. One, two, three, bop. Okay, and then... 
All right, let's hop into the water. Take a look, see. Now that we've made some, made some. Uh... Hello. Oh, someone's fucking shooting at me. Hi, shithead. Hey, fucker. Ow. I shouldn't call him fucker. Um, don't like this much. Gonna be honest with you. Not a fan. Uh, where's all the stabbers? Here we are. Let's, uh, let's fuck this guy up, huh? Let's give him a bad day. Ow. Ow. Quit it. I'm gonna fucking die. Oh my god. Ow! Oh no! Oh no! Well, I'm, I'm back on the boat at least. That's, that's something. Bastard. He gave me a bad day. It's true. It's true. Ow. He's still fucking firing at me too, the shithead. Fuck you! Alright, I'm back on ground. Got the diamond leggings on my sweet berries back. Fuck that guy, honestly. Tritons are very OP. I would love to have one. All I have is a diamond shovel to fight him with. But he's almost dead anyway, so I should be okay. I just gotta keep circling in. And... Ow, fuck. Nope, I fucked it up. Oh my god, I fucked it up so bad! <sighs> this is not how I wanted to spend my day. Oh fuck, he's out! Oh no! That's bad. That's, that's not a good thing for me. That's, that's, that's not great. All things considered. Um, hmm. Oh, he's... Yep, yeah. oh! <sighs> I'm going to bed. I don't know why it didn't occur to me once that he might potentially uh, come out of the water. Oh, you, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Oh, there's two of them! Oh, there's two of them! Fuck that noise! Ow. Ow! My sword! I... Okay. Alright. My sword's over here. You know I'm mad when I go dead quiet. I am not having a good time, all things considered. Oh, fuck you! Literally, fuck you! God damn it! Why? Literally, fucking why? Oh. Oh. These bastards. All right, there, there's my sword. I don't see them. All right, grab the sword. Get the one on land. Jesus Christ. Is he, there should be a guy up here. Did he run off? He seems to have run off. Okay. But I can grab this stuff before it despawns. I put the boots on again. <sighs> Where are you, you piece of shit? There he is. You gonna come closer? Actually, can he get me while I'm in the boat?
Yes, yes he can. Yes, he very much can. He very much can. Oh my god. Look at all these fucking tridents. What the fuck? Alright, hold on. The boat looks good, at least. I'll, I'll take that as a fucking win. It's all I have. Oh, there, there he is. He's closer now. All right, all right, all right, okay. Keep eating the berries. Keep eating the berries. Keep hiding out. Where is he? I think... No, it's... Oh, there he is. Yeah, fuck you. Does he burn in the sun? Come here to me, my friend. Come here to me. Where do you... You change your mind? You don't... Now this is cathartic. Now this. Oh. Oh, it was all worth it. Every moment. Oh, yes. Suffer and die. You absolute waste of space. Okay. He didn't even give me a trident. Fucking hell. The turtle, I... Some... You got, in order to make an omelet, you gotta break some eggs. I am fine with that sacrifice. I'm fine with that sacrifice. I did no such thing. Alright? I refuse the responsibility for that. Man, I had so many levels, too. I was doing so good. Alright. Oh, what's this? More of my mangrove. Alright. Alright, bye, Cross! Thank you for coming to stream! Alright, what was I fucking doing? I don't remember. Oh, where'd my ladders go? Oh, that's alright. I shall simply make some more. Alright. I need to get up to the second floor in order uh, let's see here. I'll grab... Uh, why not? Why not? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Alright, hup. Alright, so let's do the same thing around here. Now keep in mind, this upper deck is going to have, um, its... Alright, its own... Uh, its own roof. We are building a boat. Yes. How? How? Hello, Tegan. I'm glad you were able to join us tonight. Um, we are building a boat. We need to ship a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm making an 18th, an 1800 style steamer, um, because I felt like it. And what other reason do I need? Honestly, honestly. All right, let's put some lanterns there. Ow. We'll hang a lantern from here. And this is about as far as we can get today. I will do some grinding for birch off camera. Um, this can stay. Oh, I need to get some. I, I'll, put the, I'll put this uh, in here. And I'll do some digging off camera because you guys don't wanna you guys don't wanna see that. You guys don't wanna watch me just randomly dig for an hour, do you? No? No? Okay. Uh, let's figure out what we're doing next. I think we should actually head over to Jericho. So we can take a look see at where Ren has made their dock situation. Uh, because uh, I'm not going to be building in that space. 
but I do want to take a look-see at like the w where I'm going to be dropping off all this stuff to w see where I can suggest that Ren build a sort of depot. We will need somewhere to store all of our goods once they reach their destination. Actually, actually come to think of it, the dragon's base is landlocked. How the fuck am I getting a boat there? What? How? What was I thinking? I just spent two hours building a boat and I can't even properly get it to her. What the fuck is wrong with me? Oh my god. I... You've been in my chat this whole time. Waiting for me to put two and two together. Oh. Oh my god. I... I don't know what I expected. I don't... I... I don't know what I fucking expected. I... Uh, I can't believe this. I'm so steamed. Anyway. Alright, so anyway, this is this is Jericho. This is where Ren has been working. And this is their dock situation. This is their dock situation. And it leads up there. I don't really want to like tell them what to do. I do like how there's space here for the boat to come in, stop, offload, then go around this feature and head back out the way it came. Why are we steamed? It's not summer sales time anymore. Ha 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 ha
big enough for a seat? You, you're telling me you think this is big enough for a seaplane? It's like less than three chunks wide. That's not how any of this works. Fucking hell. Oh my God. Fuck off. All of this is because Otaku was mad that my fucking railway system didn't look good next to their bridge. You know what? I'm blaming Otaku for all of this. They're not even here. They can't defend themselves. Fuck it. Otaku's fault. I had a perfectly functional bridge, and I swear to God, Tegan, I love you. Kindly fuck off. God. Anyway. My bed is back on the boat. One day we will exact our revenge. Someday. Someday. Oh, it's a spider jockey. Oh, no, it's a spider standing next to a skeleton. It's not a, <laughs> it's not a spider jockey. <laughs> Standing close together, they're just buds. They're just bros. <laughs> oh man. I will say, even if the birch isn't bright enough, isn't wide enough to be what I want it to be, uh, the birch and the red look pretty darn good together, actually. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. All right, let's hop in the bed. Just some guys on night shift. They're friends. They're friends. And I'm very happy for them. Honest I am. All right. So we need to get working on one last thing tonight. One last thing. Oops. Especially if we're going to ask Ren to also build something similar. I want to gather our copper stores and build up the crane for getting the wheat into our barn. Um, once we have a design that we like, I can point to it and be like, build this, but much bigger. Um, and then Ren can do just that. So let's put our, well, the, the bed goes back down in the, the barn. Hi, Pigu, we're back. You want another sleepover tonight? Yeah? We'll, t we'll, we'll tell each other stories and talk about boys. Yeah? Okay. Alright, let's head up to cloud storage and take a look at our copper stores. Uh, I know we have a whole bunch of ingots from... Yeah, we got a whole bunch of ingots from Jericho Copper, so that's fine. But I kind of want to go through my non-branded copper first, my older copper. Um, and then use the good stuff for something else. Oh, got stuck. All right. So I have these lightning rods that I was using for the water droplet reservoirs. So those are an option. Let's go over to our other valuables chest. There is no copper in here. Oh, that's because I have a chest that would copper. There's also no copper in the chest labeled copper. What happened to all my copper? I had, I collected a bunch of it. Is it still up top side? Is it still in the upper level of the cloud? Hello? I thought I still had a bunch of copper left over. I mean, I did, I did do a lot of, oh, I gotta, I gotta clean here bad. No wonder the energy isn't going up very fast. Half the gears barely turn. Let's see, is there still copper in here? No, it's empty. Where did all my copper go? I'm actually a little befuddled. I thought I had more than I than I do. Um, I guess we're breaking into the uh, the Jericho uh, brand copper. I guess we gotta deal with that. Ow. Unless I've accidentally put it into a, a random chest somewhere. Oh, oh, here we go. I knew I had more around. I knew I had more around. Okay, okay. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. 
And this is, oh, these are all the hats. Well, and there's some ingots here. All right, okay. All right, okay, okay, all right. So let's Geronimo! Sploosh. So let's figure out how we want this to go. The actual crane, in order to, the actual arm of the crane, in order to clear this roof, needs to be one block thin, which means we can build the rotating structure on either side larger, but then have the middle arm go up with a hook on it. Um, I'm trying to think how I want to do this. No, first I have to make myself a new crafting bench because I fucking left it on the boat. That's only two pieces. Hi, Kip. The veg literate isn't working right now. And I thought I turned it off, but it's still it's still showing it to you guys. Sorry. Can you can you redeem the veg literate mods? If you don't mind, thank you. I feel bad. But yes, hello. How, how, how are you? All right, so what I think I wanna do is I want to have uh, some stairs. Can I not, can I not deter, oh, do I have to put them into uh, the cut copper first? Is that how that works? And then make stairs out of that? Yes. That is how that works. How am I, BFF Gata? I'm doing good. I'm doing good, all things considered. We are working on a crane arm for, uh... Let's do a couple of these. A crane arm for our barn. So how I think I want it to go is this is the center. So we're gonna have one big wheel here and one big wheel here. Where should the center be? I think the center gotta be like right here. This will cut into the floor a bit, but that's probably okay. Oh, need more blocks of copper. There we go, and boop, and boop, and then boop, then boop. Actually, these need to go out further. Yeah, here we go. So I'll make this, and like, oh, that is incorrect like this should I do I'm a little thicker than I intended it to be so I think I'll actually just leave it like so and then here and then here fuck and then like uh this and like this Oh, that's gonna be a problem, isn't it? It's okay. And like this, and like this. All right, then I gotta get it back up top side. And hop out here. Hup. Hup. And then over here we go. Hup. Hup. And how does this look? They do look gearish, but I think they're a little too close together for the look I'm trying to invoke. Yeah, they don't really... <coughs> I mean, they look like what they're supposed to look like, but they almost look like too much. They look like too much. How do I fix this? 
How do I... I'm literally scratching my head, staring at this, tilting my head to the side. How do I make this look good? I think... I think that I don't know. I think that I'm gonna have to spend some time looking at different builds online until something sparks my imagination because like this is exactly what my plan was in my head, but now that it's here, I don't know how to tweak it to make it work within the actual space that I have. Um, so I think I'm gonna have to do some more research and I'll come back to this. Sometimes, all right, life lesson for you kitties. Sometimes you just got to admit to yourself that you don't know what the fuck you're doing and then take some time to step back and it's not the red and the copper. The color clash is nice. I want it like that. It's the shape. It's the size. It's seeing how much space I have to work with and realizing that my initial vision is too large for it. It just will not work as I anticipate it. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna not. I'm just gonna take a step back and I will mess with it another time. I have a couple of weeks where I'm not gonna be on the server coming up. After today, I'll pop in to do some busy work like getting more birch, but I won't be streaming again until, ooh, probably the second week of August. I have, a, I have an event this weekend and then next weekend, well, no, I'll probably stream next, not this, not this coming Friday, but the Friday after that. What can I do? I don't really want to work in the library. I really don't want to work on the library, actually. Now that I'm here and looking at it, I don't want to touch this. I'm good. I'm good for now. Um, we could... How's, how's it looking in, in the hospital? The waiting room is mostly in place. Oh, it's back here that needs work. But also it's acacia and sandstone. So, never mind. What else? What else can we work on? Let's take a look, see up here. There's my, there's my cloud, there's my, there's my cloud. It looks very nice. I'm very proud of it. Kind of do need to put another cloud here to like finish up the balance, but that's that requires more wool than I have. Um, and then up here we have the town hall. It has been uncovered by wheat, and we have lost the pig that was in here. Welp. You know what? I think that I have completely run out of steam. And if I try to force myself to pick a different project, like the, 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 the crane was like the last thing I wanted to do. And now that I am not going to do it, picking a fourth project, even if it is only to replace the third project that I didn't do, feels like it's not worth the effort. I don't want to do it. So I think we're going to end stream about 30 minutes early. That's fine. That's cool. We can, oh, pardon me, sir. We can do that. I'm a big man. You know, I can I can control the path that my light takes. Oh, you know what we do before we need you to go, though? Oh, hello, hello. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Oh, God, oh, jeez. Oh, fuck, I have a sword. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Christ on a bike. Anyway, um, before we uh, actually leave for the night, uh, we ought to uh, take a look-see down in the, uh, the old yellow memorial shed. Ah, uh, yes. I'm really hoping Banjos comes on next. Give me Banjos. Music? This is... This is way too calm for the activity we are about to do. Uh, let me find... How's this one? 
No, too happy. That's the same thing. Uh, where is... Chasing it, it? No, that's not it. Oh, here we go. I'm a monster. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Wonderful. Beautiful. Immaculate. Uh, and with that, we're gonna call it for the night. Thank you guys for watching. Let's go over to Just Talking, uh, and I'll see who we can raid, yeah? All right. So, Pr Priscilla, really? Right now. Really right now. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so, let's go to Twitch. So here's the street, here's the schedule uh, for next week. Okay? So, uh, I gotta get a little bit the volume, actually, so you actually can fucking hear me over it. Um, let's see. Yeah, Priscilla's decided she has to sit where all of my, uh, Nintendo stuff is, so she's consistently knocking shit over. And it's not even brisket this time! No, no it's not. Which is fucking... ridiculous. Uh, let's see here. So, um, this Friday, I will not be streaming. Instead, I will be streaming Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. The reason why is because it is Christmas in July. Saturday, July 23rd, I will be running a Christmas one-shot, and my players are going to be Sono Mikan, uh, Come and Go Tavern, uh, Sheila from Come and Go Tavern, uh, and Duffy Austin. And we are going to play in a uh, Christmas one-shot where we save Christmas! Um, on Sunday, we are going to be playing a very short hack of Paper Mario called the Paper Mario Christmas Special. Uh, Toad Town is snowed in, and Paracarry and Mario have to find the presents and deliver them to who they belong before Christmas is ruined. Uh, and last but not least, on Monday, we'll be playing through a Christmas adventure map. I got a couple in line. I don't know how long they are. It's, it's July. It, hello, Mokuni Bull. It's Christmas in July. I don't know. It's a whole thing. Don't, 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 don't worry about it. It's, it's fine. It's great. It's fine. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. So that's this weekend. So I'm going to be gone until Saturday. Uh, behave. Don't get into trouble. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Um, and uh, I think we're going to actually raid Lady Hana tonight. Lady Hana seems to be making a farmer's market plaza. And I do like farmer's markets. So let's go bother La Lady Hana. Uh, remember, Lady Hana has a quiet, chill stream. Uh, everyone give quiet, gentle yeehaws. No all caps, no spamming emotes. Uh, just, uh, just tell them that we're here, and we're, we're happy to see them. Alright? Thank you guys very much for watching, and, uh, I will see you later. Have a good night, everybody! Bye bye Bye, everyone! Goodbye! Tell Lady Hana I say howdy! Whisper, yeehaw! Yeehaw! Just whisper it real quietly. Uh, I'm gonna wait 30 seconds to make sure everyone's actually like here with me because of how bad my delay has been recently. Careless yeehaw from a good friend. As the music dies, something in her eyes calls to mind a silver screen with all its Sad goodbyes. I'm never gonna dance again. Guilty feet of. All right.